I wish morning would never come. I wish I could just lay in bed here with you forever. Well, I can, since I'm a god. I'd just have to snap my fingers and you'd freeze up like the most perfect statue. But something tells me that you'd find that, at best, mildly annoying. And I don't want to annoy you. There are a lot of things that I want to do that I don't. I want to carve every mountain into a statue of you. I want to turn every painting into a portrait of you. I want to turn every song into an ode to you. But I know you don't share all of my tastes, and I respect that. I know... I know you'd think I'm overdoing things. I never knew how to mind mortals before. I never even thought to consider their thoughts and feelings. You were the first mortal whose opinion I ever cared for. And I hope you don't hate me for saying this. But I am certain there will never be a second. And I love you. You are so lovable. You're precious, charming, and funny. Funny like me, I might add. And I can back that claim up with a joke. <laughs> Why are yandere so rich? Because they know how to make a killing. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Why do yandere's love their shadow so much? Because it never leaves them. <laughs> oh, that joke was... Kind of sad, actually. But I think I can cheer you up with a fun fact. Did you know there are 200 billion trillion stars in the universe? And you're more beautiful than all of them? It's true. I would know. I'm a god. I checked each and every one, one by one, and I can confirm... None of them quite compare to you. Of course, they're just giant balls of gas, so they don't look quite as pretty up close. But still, my point still stands. My point being that you are infinitely precious. I am so lucky to have something as precious as you. And that's saying something, since I basically own everything. Being the supreme god of the universe, and all. I'm going to keep you forever. Forever and ever. And I'm going to keep you for longer than your sweet little mortal mind can comprehend. Even when the sun envelops the earth in five billion years, I'll still protect you. And keep you. Even when the heat death of the universe occurs, I'll just take you to a different universe. I'll keep you going. I'll keep you young, healthy, and alive forever. And even if by some mistake you died, I'd just seize your soul and bring you back to life again. And it'd be easy for me, after all. Practically everything is easy for me, except a few things. Like... Taking my eyes off of you, or thinking about things other than you, or resisting my urge to fawn over you. Resisting my urge to protect you is another thing I cannot do. I won't let anyone hurt you. If someone tried to hurt you, I wouldn't even end their life. <laughs> no, no, I'd make sure that they never existed. I'd rewrite history without them. Make sure that their parents never met. Or something like that. There are a lot of ways I can go about it. All to protect you, of course. It's all just to keep you safe, darling. That's the reason for so many of the things that I do. I'm conscious of every single atom. 
so that none of them can move in a way that would harm you, even if the entire world tried to hurt you. I'd stop them, then I'd make a new world. One lovelier, better, one that respects you more, because you deserve respect. You deserve love and adoration. Even I, as a god, do not feel I can possibly do enough to properly lavish you with my affection. I... It makes me confused sometimes. Is that okay? For God to be confused? It's just that someone I love as much as you should be... How should I say it? Like, you're a big deal. All the mortals on this planet should be bowing at your feet, kissing the ground you walk on, naming their cities after you and the likes. They should just show you some respect. But I guess that's more like worship. It pains me for others to not treat you as well as you should be treated. But at the same time, I want you all for myself. To be the only one that spoils you with such devotion. It makes me feel... special. Which sounds silly, I know. Why would I need to feel special? I'm already a god. What is more special than that? But still, I like it. And I like you. I like being the special someone who really appreciates you. Who really understands how lovely and precious and valuable you are. And I guess... I guess I'd get jealous that others were giving you attention, is all. Which is why I'm kind of... Reluctant about the whole having the world worship you thing. But that's alright. Right now, you're here. And I'm here. And it's just the two of us. And that makes for the perfect moment, my lovely sweetheart. Hmm. That reminds me. I should probably think of some new pet names to call you. I mean, you are my sweetheart, and you are my darling, but you could also be some other things, like my love, but I think that we can think of something a bit more interesting than that. For instance, you could be my honeypot. Wait, no, that makes you sound like some sort of spy. I could call you my sugar, but that's not really fair, since unlike sugar, you're good for me. I guess I could call you my cupcake, but cupcakes also have sugar. Hmm. Well, maybe you're a healthier cupcake? Oh well, the process of thinking of pet names is cute and fun in itself, but I'll just keep on thinking and keep you posted, my beloved. I'll just keep on thinking and staring at you. What? Can you blame me? You're very easy to stare at. I like watching you no matter from what direction, whether I'm making eye contact or I'm starting at the back of your head or even if I'm watching over you as you sleep. All the different little positions have their own unique appeal. Come on, don't be too creeped out. I mean, I know you're just pulling my leg there, but still, I'll make it up to you. Do you want to see some new colors? Humans only have three types of cone cells in their eyes, meaning they can only see about a million different colors. What if I gave you 16 types of cones? Like a mantis shrimp, you'd be able to see... Well, I suppose you'd be able to see a lot of different colors. It'd blow your mind. For instance, I know I'm attractive, but I'd look even better the more colors you can see. You should see yourself as well. You'd have no idea how truly beautiful you are with more than the mere three cones.
Not that I'd look down on you for only having three cones. I love you, after all, sweetheart. I'll always love you. Even in a thousand years, a million, a billion, a trillion, I'll still love you just as much as I do right now, at this very moment. And right now, I really do love you. I'm trying to figure out how to put it into words. If my love for you was a pet, it would swallow the world whole. I want to create an endless amount of languages just so I can have more words to express how much I love you. I want to engrave your name on every atom of the universe. Not deep enough to split them, obviously. That would... well, that would be irresponsible. Luckily for you, I'm so cautious. And lucky for the other living things in the universe, too, I suppose. But right now, I'm just focused on you. Because I love you, darling. I'd do anything for you. If you said that the sky would be prettier if it was purple, then I'd change it. If you wanted a second moon in the sky, I would do it. Even a third or fourth or a fifth. And of course, you can leave all the complicated details like not screwing up the tides of gravity and the orbits to me. I'll take care of it. I always take care of it. Don't I, sweetheart? Because you're my one and only love. I'm so glad that you're mine. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't. If you didn't exist, I'm not sure if I would allow this universe to keep going. What would be the point? You're wonderful. You're precious. You're irreplaceable. My truly one-of-a-kind darling. You're breathtaking. <laughs> Good thing I don't need to breathe. I don't really need anything other than you. I wish this moment could last forever. Just me, lying down here and admiring you. I really don't want morning to come. Is it okay if I stop time for a bit? For everyone but the two of us? I just want more time with you is all. I promise I won't drag it out for two long. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you. Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and I just want to thank you for listening to another one of my audios. It truly does mean the world to me to have this kind of support. I never really thought it'd be possible. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons on screen, especially that of my precious pants. Ash3407, Toka, Michelle, Nikki Pele, and Ghost. Thank you all so, so much for everything that you do. It truly does mean the world to me. If you are interested in getting audios early or maybe hearing Not Safer Work extras, be sure to check out my Patreon in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much. Again, I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mm -hmm.